know how sometimes when you debate with people on Facebook, and uh, they sound like fucking five-year-olds, and, you know, when you tell them, uh, tell them, the, you know, reality, and, you know, basically trash their opinion, tear it apart, uh, basically find out the little flaws and hypocrisy of their opinion, just try to form a form of conversation, and only... And then after that, they just sound like a fucking child, just cussing, swearing, and saying the F-bomb several times. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of people on Facebook. Criticize them, they want a safe space. Oh, God. Especially those anti-gun, communist, socialist, uh, anti-American assholes, or, you know, Trump, 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 hate, 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 those kind of people. But yet, when you have an opinion and you agree with the President of the United States for a few things, all of a sudden, you're the devil. They think there's fucking 50 genders out there, and they think there uh, there's such thing as microaggressions and that crap. And when you try to, you know, try to debate with somebody and have an intelligent conversation with somebody without anybody getting offended and still have to the point to somebody agrees or disagrees with each other's opinion or listen to somebody else's other side. No, they get deeply offended and over-emotional and then they call you a Nazi or a moron or a idiot or backwoods hillbilly. Uh, you know, the usual, you know, BS. They call you sexist, racist, homophobic, and all those... All bunch of name calling, childish behavior. They never actually want to have a intelligent conversation because they're a person who is loves basically being a dick and being a social pariah to everybody else with their ideology. You know, your typical Bernie supporter, basically. Basically, they sound like this when you destroy and pull apart their argument. <laughs> Exactly where it belongs, right, Powell? Right in the garbage. 